apologize. The video, see, while I'm taking, while I'm filming this video, the shit looks very clear. I mean, it is clear. I hit the light. It is super clear. Crystal clear. High freaking definition clear. Now, this has happened over the last four or five videos I've done. Maybe even six. I film it. It look good. I upload it. Looks like somebody's watercoloring my shit. I mean, right now it's super clear. Let me finish what I was saying though on this little story here. The problem is this. Um, a few months ago, it was at the border, people getting in. And now, in our DMVs, people buying IDs. Um, I'm frustrated now because looking back at this video, it looks like crap. And that's like four videos in a row look like crap. There's a certain standard that we try to have up on this YouTube and to be honest with you buying a $200 camera here and a $140 camera there Shh. where's that damn camera at? The damn $19 camera was the best thing I had going 19 bucks shit was clean get back to the borders and shit that's wrong that's flat out wrong that's like extorting the whole country. And it's like I said, if this was some kind of weird military operation, we're done. We're done. We're surrounded. Um, it's not fair for those who have paved the way for some of those people. It's like, um, it's like offering somebody something for free. What are you going to do when someone says, come on, let's go to dinner? Are you going to try to buy the most expensive dinner on the damn menu? Or are you just going to get what you would normally get if you're spending your own money? Apply that to people coming in and going out of the country. There's an opportunity here for you. As though I said earlier in another video, if you go dirty one time, have to go. What if they said, you know what, man? I'm going to get my grandmother in America. Looks around. He does it one time. And it worked. Grandma's in America now. Grandma's got, you know, driver's license. Grandma's got ID. Grandma told somebody else. Okay, Grandma, I'll just do this one time. Okay. It worked again. You see where I'm headed, right? Now, Grandma's friend then told somebody else. Grandma said, he probably do it for a couple thousand dollars. Grandma, I'm only going to do this one last time. And it worked again. Here's a list of the people who you have to help. Once you go bad, for if you go bad for somebody else, they're going to ask you again and again and again, just like the Border Patrol thing. The guy let some people in and had to let people in. You have to do it. After, after you do something one time that ain't right and somebody else know about it, you have to do it again. You have to do it again. Now it's going to make it harder for regular people to get jobs now. They ain't going to want to hire me or you at the DMV. You might let your cousin fix your cousin's driving record. You, you know, might give your nephew a driver's license. But no, we won't get that opportunity. That freaking timer, I can't see it. I'm going to give you one more analogy. 9-11. Before 9-11... I drive back and forth on this bridge. Whew. 
It's a bridge. I, it's, it's not the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate's here. There's another one right there. I'm not going to get no names, no logistics and all that shit. So I drive back and forth across this bridge. After 9-11, there was an Arab in three different booths. I'm not knocking on Arab people, but think about this. Before 9-11, there was a black girl at this booth. There was a white guy in here. And the guy with the bicycle uh, mustache, this old white guy was here. And... You know, some Mexican woman on end. It's like four or five booths. After 9-11, four Arabs and one black. After 9-11, um, I'll call or check my internet or cancel something for anything. Pakistan, Turkey. If we're not being funneled or put in situations, I don't know what we are. Because now I hear all this stuff about the borders... And now I see Mexicans in places giving people free rides. America does a hell of a lot of advertisement before anything happens. They tell us before they do us. What are you being told right now? What have you been told about me? Once again, I'm not bashing nobody. I wish I had a job for the Border Patrol. I wish I had a job at the DMV. People put themselves in position and we pay for it. And now we won't be, we're going to be scrutinized when we try to go get something now. When we, as a nation and as a free people, are going to get wise to the fact and understand. We can do a lot for everybody in the world, but I don't see too many people in the world doing nothing for us. That light kills me. I bet you this video is going to be screwed up too. Look at the signs placed before you. Pretty soon we're going to hear something else had to do with the borders. I'm going to call it. Today is Thursday. By Wednesday, it's going to be some more shit on the borders. Or, or somebody else sneaking something. Or something stupid is going to happen before Wednesday. And it's going to be national news and not make a lick of sense. It'll be part of that damn advertisement. Watch. By Wednesday, I guarantee, because of the way these dominoes are falling, Hispanic Mexican this, Border Patrol this, DMV that, something dumb is going to happen by Wednesday. I truly believe. Now, if it don't happen by Wednesday, I have been tubed. And think about it. Between now and Wednesday, Today is Thursday. I'm not going to give you a date, but today's Thursday. Think about your life and do the, do the right thing. You know, do the right thing. Do what's going to help us all in the long run. Because, you know, people ask me to break the law every day. And it's the choice you make. I choose not to be dirty. Been there, done that. Let's make a change for everybody. Thank you. Have a nice day.